guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video and yet another gift guide thank you for all your love and support on my previous gift guides that I have done this year my main kind of gift guide for her for him and stocking fillers I did promise you guys within those videos that I was going to do a kind of bonus B&M gift guide video which is today uh, because they just have so many gifting options don't they so I had a look through the stores bought quite a few gifts for friends and family so any friends and family members watching please switch off now and also you may notice the tree behind me is up it isn't yet decorated because I'm pre-filming this video so you may have already seen my decorate for Christmas with me video if you have you will know that the tree is now decorated, but for the purpose of today's video, I still want to sit in front of the tree because even undecorated, I think these Balsam Hill ones are beautiful. So yeah, I thought I'd get festive, sit in front of the tree, share with you some B&M gift ideas for Christmas this year, but also some like DIY, DIY options that I've kind of taken inspiration from Pinterest. Pinterest is honestly your best friend if you want budget ideas for gifts for um, your loved ones, like DIY options, real creative ideas. So I've even got some bits for Barney in here as well. So anyway, where to begin? I'm going to start with sharing with you these sacks that they do this year. I did have my eyes on them. I did think, oh, I don't need them because I already have some, but the beige faux fur just drew me in. And it's kind of like a Borg shearling material, super cozy and soft. And then the gold is a real like kind of champagne gold. Really on theme with my theme for Christmas. These luxury sacks that they do are only £9, which honestly I think is brilliant especially if you're buying for someone maybe your other half or obviously a child even we do sacks for our for tom's nieces and i think if you're buying several gifts for one person it's a really great way to kind of make it nice and neat and compact to just have one gift bag or stocking and some of the larger gift bags are sort of five pounds anyway so for a few extra pounds this beautiful one that you can keep for years and years to come i just think that's such a lovely way to gift gifts <laughs> to give gifts and um, so i did get a t for tom and f for me and also i did get a b for barney because i end up just as you'll tell from this video getting him a few toys for christmas kind of keeps him entertained as well on christmas morning he loves unwrapping presents if you're new here hello welcome first and foremost and if you don't know barney is not my child he is my fur baby so yes he is my child but he's not a human <laughs> Here's a golden retriever. I did also get us stockings, which I've been thinking of popping on the mantelpiece. Seen on Pinterest a really creative way to decorate a mantelpiece with like a nice garland, but then also mix and match different textured stockings. I think it can be really effective, look really full. And yeah, I really like that idea as well. But anyway, for us, I've got these ones. These ones are five pounds. Okay, another DIY gift option that I saw on Pinterest that I thought, oh yes, B&M's the place to go for that, is with chopping boards. So I've got a selection to show you. For five pounds, they've got these smaller ones and these are acacia wood. And then they also do these larger ones. That's a pack of two, by the way, that one. So you can make that into two gifts. And then they have these large ones for six pounds. Can do a little DIY with jute string or even a nice ribbon, maybe both, layer them up and to pop a really nice coffee table book, maybe a little, with it being kitchen board, a little, um, like a cookery book that's aesthetically pleasing with a nice kitchen towel rolled up on the top. You could wrap it up with a nice, like little mini wreath or bells or mistletoe, a sprig of holly, just to give it that festive touch. Another DIY gift option that I thought of, that I thought these would be perfect for, glass jar, this one is £2.50. They do quite a few varieties of these kind of jars, but I think they make great simmer pot jars. So again, you could buy several for all your friends, family, and you can make your own little DIY simmer pot with these by popping in some dried apples, oranges, some cinnamon sticks, 
some berries in there. If you don't know what a simmer pot is, it's just, I think it kind of is an American thing that I did one last year and it just fills your whole house with a really nice scent. And then obviously depending on what you pop in there, you could even use it to drink. So you could do like a mold apple type thing. And you could always do little DIY labels with a simmer pot on, maybe with instructions for whoever you're gifting it to so they know exactly what it is. I also thought this would be a little kind of nice duo to gift. So firstly, these wooden soap dishes that they do these are two pounds 50 sorry two pound 50 they do larger ones as well that you could maybe gift with a nice white company botanical candle so you can get the budget homeware item and then with this one a soap dish you could get the white company or one from B&M or wherever I know home since and TK Maxx do nice soaps as well but the white company soaps are only eight pounds anyway so I thought that with the little soap dish again with some nice jute ribbon a little tag or sprig of fur again whatever it is that you want to do to wrap it to make it look festive and it looks like wow that's a really nice gift rather than just gifting a soap or just the soap tray to kind of double them up together they did have this soap in which i thought i don't know if it fits on this one you might have to get the larger one. Oh no it does fit and these soaps that they have in uh, b and for there's no price on this one, but it's no more than probably about a pound if you did want a cheaper version And these are the antique traditional natural olive oil soaps So a bit like the one that we have on our kitchen island like a block of soap with a Like a little scrubber brush set on top of it on one of these trays looks quite nice I always think a lovely idea is to gift a nice photo frame photo especially like a black and white one and and I got the um, I got this frame from B&M to share with you as that for an idea because these are beautiful. This new range of Porto picture frames, three pound fifty, nice kind of natural wooden tone. That I thought would look lovely, so I thought I would show that to you. But again, they've got loads of different photo frame options. Another DIY gift for four pounds. They do these pots, perfect for in your pantry. Again, you could use one of these as maybe a simmer pots, but I got this with the intended purpose, have to sing it again on Pinterest, of doing a DIY date night jar. So on pieces of paper, you can get really nice parchment paper. You could get some like festive paper and essentially just to write out 12 different date night ideas of which you can pop in the jar and then throughout the year, you can pick one, you and your partner can pick one out each month to do a date night and it will be kind of a bit of a surprise it might be a cinema date night it might be go to a theme park which wouldn't be in ours because that's not tom's thing but whatever it may be you can go into your jar and make for such a lovely kind of sentimental thoughtful diy gift really on a budget i'm not sure how many other diy options i've got other than I've just got lots of other gift ideas now, but I suppose these ones could be a bit of a DIY option if you wanted to do it maybe with the um, one of the acacia boards as well, but or, or a little hamper. I know they do little, little hampers that you can pick up and do DIY options of like a food hamper, a pamper hamper. Um, but I thought I would pick up these two from the Christmas foodie section as good gift ideas. This one is a selection of six luxury preserves, four pounds this one was and then I also picked up this one which is a Brussels style pate with wild boar and bruschetta or bruschetta as you meant to pronounce it yeah I thought we would pick that up for us to use on Christmas day but again as a little gifting option would be lovely that one was four pounds as well this in the home fragrance section I thought looked lovely as a gift idea and it comes with a wooden tray as well so you get a set with a Reed diffuser and a mini candle in amber and patchouli for seven pounds. Yeah, the fact that it comes with this wooden tray as well, I just thought was lovely. Yeah, how nice is that? And obviously, like I said, you can repurpose that tray wherever in your house. Or once those reed diffusers are out and candles out, you can pop whichever other ones on there too. Another idea for the home fragrance lover, a little candle and matches set. This one is in silver cedar, so perfect for Christmas. And it's only two pounds. 50 pence it smells lovely it's not the strongest but it definitely it has a really nice smell to it and then this little set of matches i thought i would show you as a little stocking filler gift idea three pound fifty these ones are um and you get 120 matchsticks in there a little uh striker is on the bottom these are white but you can get 
all different colors and then they also have as another option the luxury from the luxury fragrance range this um match cloche uh, again the strikers on the bottom this one is four pounds because obviously you get the glass cloche with it as well jo malone dupe they now do these luxury fragrance um luxury scented room sprays at three pounds so they've got all the different scents but this one in particular Murren Tonka is one of my favorite scents that Jo Malone do so I thought I would pick this one up for us to have but yeah three pounds for such a lovely little gift idea when do I ever do a Christmas haul without including a mug and again as a nice stocking filler gift idea I think a mug is always a good shout and this one is very simply one that just says merry nice and neutral so again for the neutral lover I thought this one would be a great option and it is only £3.50 obviously they've got loads of different mug options this year for the festive range but that one was probably my favourite to go with it you could always include a little pot of coffee maybe even a gift card for Costa or Starbucks wherever you're buying the coffee brand from um, so I thought I would pick this up to kind of go with that as an option that one actually fits inside so you could wrap it up again with a little gift card attached to it or on top and I thought that would make a lovely little combo gift if you wanted to do like a hot chocolate option as well they do these cute little mini gingerbreads which you can use for your little hot chocolates to pop on your squirty cream on top so I had to get those just to share with you as well who else loved the traitors i'm so happy they've got a new season coming i think is it in december i'm not sure the traitors is possibly my favorite ever and this is a big statement okay my favorite ever reality tv show it is incredible i've watched all of them there was the uk version us version was basically the same same location same game so that was okay still a different outcome though so still worth watching and then the Australian version was a completely different um set up even again so I'm so excited for the new UK one to come and you can get these little games for eight pounds they do do a bigger board game which I've seen in John Lewis actually um, but I thought I would get this little mini one which you can um yeah it's with digital play as well this not necessarily as a gift idea obviously but just as a fun festive edition scrub daddy or scrub mummy in the polar bear why does that make me so happy i've currently got a white ghost in our sink still from halloween so i'm going to switch this one out today now that we've got a cute little polar bear so adorable i've got some bits for tom's nieces so again you know who you are stop watching if you're watching because this will spoil the surprise for you um but we've got a few kind of girly gifts for younger girls or for whoever to be honest i'm gonna say younger girls this could still be for whoever but they do these vanity tier organizers for eight pounds and then these ones for five pounds which has like a little spinner this jade roller i think this one was about two pound fifty or three pounds and then for makeup sets they've got the profusion cosmetics stuff so i thought i'd pick up a couple of these this one is a makeup brush set at nine pounds comes with these sponges as well and then this is called the lip vault at six pounds where you've got some really nice shades in there actually and then also for three pound fifty this cute little brow kit i think they do like a nail kit as well the brow kit includes two precision tweezers brow brush and curved scissors yeah three pound fifty for that oh another little set from profusion for the lip glosses this is the nudes shades i mean if that was six pounds this one's not got a price on it but i'm assuming it's probably half that maybe four three or four pounds at 3.99 as a hinch lover i always think a nice little stocking filler a nice festive flora vanilla and amber is one of my faves for the festive season and i also picked up some treats of which festive edition we've got some toblerone the white one and then also i saw these and they're like the um what do they call these well anyway this one is privilege it's called brompton house privilege white chocolate pralines what are they called i'm going to be kicking myself watching this back when i'm editing it shouting at the screen and you guys probably are too but they're like a ferrero rocher but the white version in the white packet with a bit of red on it oh, you guys all know what i'm talking about but they're just like those and um cheaper oh also 
face mask, good little stocking filler. And they've got these um, skin techniques ones. This was the blah, blah, blah. this one is the cucumber infused sheet cooling and calming. For the Harry Potter lovers, they've got loads of Harry Potter stuff like notebooks, pens. I got this little candle, Harry Potter candle. There it is, right at the top. Five pounds for that one. I did also get a few bits from the toy section. I would pick it up as an option because they've got loads of Lego in there. So Lego, I always think, is a nice Christmas addition to the day just for something to do and this one's a porsche we've got a few of the lego cars upstairs because yes we are big kids we've got the ferrari the mini the camp van i think that's it so yeah i'll probably just give that one to tom for christmas but i really want there's two massive ones that they do and honestly i feel like we'd need a bigger house for it because i have no idea where i would put them but the Harry Potter castle and the Home Alone house. Um, anyway, I also got some bits of Viney, like I said. So I picked up this for his st sack, stocking, both. Um, this five pound toy from Huntley's. I love their Huntley's range that they do. It's a real kind of like country barber style range that just is lovely. So this one is a Dylan the Deer dog toy really soft actually and then the wag treats they have loads of festive editions this massive one as well which is rudolph's festive cookies with cinnamon and coriander and then i always have these they're just perfect i mean he gets through one of these quite quickly but um they're good for like little training treats for him so i've got comets turkey stuffing and gravy note they're all named after reindeers got vixen's turkey ham pie turkey and cranberry and dancer's turkey chicken and duck three bird roast comet cupid comet cupid dancer vixen blitzen i'm not even doing it in the rhymes this is harder rudolph help me out guys Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got some ideas, especially some of the kind of DIY options that I shared with you at the beginning. Let me know which is your favorite. Any other DIY gift ideas that you've thought of that you would love to share, please do pop it in the comments below. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more because I will have more gift ideas throughout the lead up to Christmas with gift wraps. I'll show you what I've got for my friends and family. And I love watching Christmas wrapping gift gift wrapping videos there's something kind of therapeutic asmr about watching people wrap presents so anyway that is all to come i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.